So as an owner of arguably too many 3D printers, um, I wanted to find a way to contribute and people were starting to 3D print some cool stuff. I found a, a pretty cool uh, design for a face mask, printed one up. Um, initially I, th I thought I was going to print a lot of these, but after trying it out, um, I think maybe not. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the uh, pros and cons of a 3D printed mask. So this mask is actually pretty nice. Um, there are lots of parts and pieces I like about it. The way that the um, the way the filter is held in place is actually pretty clever. You can just get any type of material. This is cotton, two layers of cotton. Just push it in here. So that's one of the things I really love about this particular model. Um, I have a few observations about it though. Um, I think bigger filter area would be better because you can breathe easier and, and filter more. With the uh, two layers of cotton, um, reading online with some testing people have, have done, this may um, possibly provide you with like N70 uh, filtration. You know, maybe, maybe not. So is this better than nothing? Absolutely. Um, but one problem with 3D printing is this is very rigid material, so it's not not extremely comfortable. If we could print uh, something flexible or rubbery, it would be so much better. Also, the um, whoever's face this was modeled after is not exactly like my face. So I have some discomfort right in here for some reason, and it doesn't fit my nose very well. So. You could heat this up and um, try to form it to your face better. Of course, it would be better if you had some kind of a rubber or, or foam or something for comfort and for a proper seal so that, you know, the air you're breathing is through the filter and not around the edges. But that said, after I tried it a few times, it does seem to be sealing pretty well. In fact, after I tried this stinking thing, which isn't that much more comfortable, um, could certainly breathe a lot easier through this though because there's so much surface area. So I don't think this is a perfect fit yet because it won't fit everybody's face um, unless you're custom fitting them to people's face and then how you add some other something else to make it more comfortable and give a better seal I'm not sure. So the other problem is at my print speed, I could make about four of these in a day. Um, whereas if I just got off my butt and learned some sewing skills, you could probably crank out, you know, more than that. I'm, I'm underestimating. It does take a lot of time and effort to sew. However, the product you would get afterwards, you may actually really love to wear and you may despise wearing this this thing. Anyway, this is just one of many different um, designs on the web and the, they're being, new ones are coming out all the time and people are modifying these. Anyway, keep it up, this is cool stuff. People are uh, innovating in some pretty pretty cool ways.